Released earlier this year, much has already been said about the Intel NUC9 Extreme. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Intel NUC9 Extreme and can it really game? What's up guys, it's your boy Boss Mac, back to gaming.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the Intel NUC9 Extreme. A little bit of history about the NUCs. The name NUC is an acronym for Next Unit of Computing, NUC. Basically, Intel wanted their own small form factor platform and this is what we have. NUCs have particularly remained small in size throughout its lifetime, but that meant it existed only for a certain kind of audience, particularly the light office and home theater kind. To please a portion of the power user market, Intel debuted the larger NUCs around 2016, but we've never really gotten a worthy desktop replacement until this year. Intel debuted the Ghost Canyon NUC series and this introduced us to the concept of compute elements. And from barring everything else, this is actually a very smart design, although it's weighed down by a lot of other things which I'll get into the end of this video. What we'll focus today on is gaming performance. Is this thing actually playable? Which leads me to the, the availability details of the NUC9 Extreme. First thing you have to know is that Intel retails the, the NUC9 Extreme as a kit, but does not include the memory, the storage, and the OS, and of course, a graphics card. We'll discuss this in more detail later in the video. Before we dive any further, this video is sponsored by PC Works. They sent us this Intel NUC9 Extreme kit to review. They already equipped it with all the parts we need. They did not tell us what to say, nor they did not have access to this video prior to publishing. All they asked us was to, of course, make this video and remind our Philippine-based audience, if you want to get your own Intel NUC9 Extreme kit, please check out PC Works' current promotion for this particular kit we have. You can get the Intel NUC9 Extreme Core i5 kit featuring a quad-core 8-thread core i5 9300H compute unit for 45,795 pesos if you buy it in cash. You can then build up the kit with their in-store items, so make sure you inquire about ongoing promotions for memory, SSDs, and graphics cards while you're there. Now, I only had a short time with the sample that we have, and most of the time I had was spent tinkering with the internals of this kit. Now, I never really followed this tech, and it's only just now that I realized that this thing uses a baseboard to link the compute unit with the graphics card. Think, uh, think of it like a U-shaped riser for your GPU. Our sample came with a Palette GTX 1660 Ti graphics card, and uh, PC Works already equipped this, uh, this kit with a 256GB WD Green M.2 SSD. We also have 16GB of DDR4266 memory. The Intel NUC9 Extreme comes with a pre-installed 500 watt power supply. Now that being said, the Intel NUC9 Extreme is actually capable of powering up to an RTX 3070, provided you can fit one in the case. Still, that allows anyone building this kit up to choose pretty much any card in the market as long as it can fit inside the case. Speaking of cases, the NUC9 Extreme reminds me of heavily of the Sotac Magnus Mini PC. It's definitely larger than most NUCs, but compared to similarly spec SFF PCs, it's definitely smaller. All those components are crammed into this small footprint, and if you may be wondering where this, the cooling for the CPU is, and here we have it right here. Intel uses a blower solution for the cooling, and it's not the largest we've seen, and if you haven't noticed it yet, the NUC does have a laptop CPU. With all of that said, let's go right down to performance. I'm going to show you some clips of our actual benchmark scenes. I'll keep the commentary slim from this point forward, so you can skip right ahead to the conclusion. <laughs>
the Radiant Drax fall, or rather the Range Drax fall in the mid lane for BP. So now only one lane remaining. If OG go and have a look, they can take Roshan right now. Yep. But I think no one's having a peek. BP have to try and contest this. Do they have a smoke? They do have a smoke on Warlock, but they seem to be a bit scared that if they leave the base, OG just tried to jump in top and take the barracks. So Enchantress has to defend this for now. They're coming out now. Little How quickly can Anna have travels? Ramses is there, Pasha as well. Anna beating down Roshan. As far as vision goes, there's actually nothing that helps OG. There's one ward watching the lane, but around the pit, not a lot to work with. And here comes Werner Pro. Into the pit, they start the duel. The walk in season, the no tell. Plus t -Rex, the perfect rooting. The duel, Pasha is gone. Enchantress is gone. They're pushing on to S4. Alchemist needs to do more work, but he can't finish the job. Defensive imprisonment. No one's even part of this fight. Ramsey's will die. No one will blink out for three heroes down. Only one has buyback. And that's the Alchemist, Roshan belongs to OG, but Jirax, he's not done yet. He continues the chase, looking towards Solo. The orb damage is also giving the intel steal while pushing up the top lane. They need to create more space. Blink have been used for TP the Yule.
Again, a quick summary of our system. We have the Intel NUC9 Extreme NUC9 i5 QNX. Again, this review is made possible by PC Works. You can get your own Intel NUC9 Extreme kit from PC Works for 45,795 pesos if you buy it in cash. Ultimately, performance will fall on which graphics card you choose. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that will find the CPU to be the main bottleneck for the performance you get. For that, I could easily recommend the Zotac Magnus or the other pre-builds in the market right now, but none of those things will be as light or as small as the Intel NUC9 Extreme. Take note that what we've tested here is the entry model kit and we're getting really playable numbers. Here's a shot of our Intel NUC9 Extreme kit in action under our thermal camera. What you're seeing here is both sides in action during game. You can see the hot spots in while we're focused mainly on the CPU area, while the GPU itself is doing a good job cooling itself. Intel's top fans helped manage the heat, but we feel cooling could have been improved. The most glaring criticism about the Intel NUC9 Extreme is the price, and while I do acknowledge that, this is definitely the kind of situation where Intel could have done a better job in marketing the Intel NUC9 Extreme. Based on our long history with pre-builds, a lot of customers choose to go down the routes of pre-builds for either convenience or size. In this case, the latter reasoning is the primary focus of the product, and between say a Zotac Magnus or an ROG Huracan, the pricing is obviously in favor of the NUC9 build. One can argue that the other models pack more power, but the NUC9 being so small, one can look at it like a console. This fits uh, people who may be stuck in smaller dorms but prefer the comfort of a desktop than a laptop. Speaking of laptops, pricing for a similarly kitted out laptop will ultimately fall around the same price as a NUC9 Extreme, including the monitor and peripherals. Ultimately, there's no definitive answer on what the Intel NUC9 Extreme is made for, but if you're already on the fence for a tiny gaming PC that just needs that little push of confidence, then the Intel NUC9 Extreme is a unique foundation you can build on. If you're after value, this definitely is not a product for you, but if you're after the most compact experience that uh, from a desktop that you can literally carry on your palm, then the Intel NUC9 Extreme fits the build. Once again, you can build your own Intel NUC9 Extreme Desktop PC through PC Works. Be sure to take advantage of their ongoing promotion where you can get the NUC9 i5 QNX kit featuring an Core i5-9300H for 45,795 pesos. Check out their other products at their website, it's pcworks.ph. This has been your boy Boss, back back to gaming.com. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Happy New Year! Peace!